Hi friends, today I'm gonna show you how to draw another spring flower, any money. Uh, they're also called buttercup flowers and these are very, very beautiful, delicate flowers. Uh, it's like a more like an oversized mum, but like really pretty and let's see how to draw them today. So let's begin with the center of the flower here. No. They usually have like a very big center. And then I'm gonna draw the petals. They're really big petals. This is like the top view of the flower, so. So you don't exactly see like each petal. You see like the underlying petals. I'm gonna draw another one adjacent to it. Again, starting with the center. Big petal goes in here. This is a petal peeking from the side. Another flower here. This is like the... Sometimes you have to cover some of the centers with petals because you're not looking at all the petals all the time like you know they in some angles you know they are closer and in some angles they're much farther so just close it up here okay and this is gonna be another one I'm gonna, we are gonna draw, you know, something really flat and full bloom so you can see all the petals here. Let's get some gap between the center and, you know, the petal. And then, you know. As I said, they are like really, really wide petals and, you know, slightly overlapping and really pretty flowers. And they start blooming in the spring, you know, some, you know, continue to bloom until fall. But they're like really pretty. Okay, this will do. I'm going to come back, you know, fill the center of the flowers. Again, start with the center. And then I'm going to just cover the center with some petals. You know, like that. 
that. Then That's going to be the first layer around the bud and then these white petals around and let this petal come all the way to this flower. Let's have another overlapping petal here. I'm now going to fill all the gaps here with leaves and any many leaves are, you know, thin and, you know, not a really pretty leaf shape, but just thin and long and, you know, so you just draw them like this, and then I left some gaps here, you know, so that we can draw some leaves that are on the top of the flowers, like, you know, it's like a top view. Maybe another one here. And then I'll just close up this flower here. Another leaf here. As I said, they don't have to be really exact. Okay. like eyelashes here, nothing in it. I'm gonna get a gate.
Okay, so the centers here are, you know, really dark. They have like a purple shade in them. And then like, it looks almost like black. So let's start with um, by putting in some purples here. another darker shade of purple. You know, filling in colors always start with the lighter shade and then you can Go darker if you want like in this case the darks are really center but I have like a, a purple uh, shadowy color here just gonna leave another center here just for like the pale yellow center that you know sometimes some flowers have not all any minis have them. You know, sometimes the white anemones can come with the lavender, green, or pink hue streaked through the centers, and they fade as the blooms open. So let's put in some greens here that resembles that. They can peek out too. They don't have to be really near the center. Always. So. Sometimes near the base of the petals too. Now I'm gonna fill the petals with a very, very pale pink shade because I'm gonna have like, you know, pink tips to these anemones. So let's start.
because I want all the colors are filled in. This is how it looks. I put in some highlights and shadows. And hope you like this. Please subscribe us if you like us and you know, hit the bell button and watch our next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the video.